Hey guys, uh, Mr. Burns here, bringing you a math video. Um, this one's going to be on uh, exclusively on the first law of logs. So, you've probably seen a few of the laws of logs somewhere in your class, and you're probably trying to figure them all out. So I thought I might make a video on each one of the laws, and uh, maybe shine some light on you know, how each of one of them are used. So, um, the first rule of laws, or the first law, I'll call it, first law of logs, looks like this. So if you're adding two laws, logs, so say log of base b of x plus log base b of y, the rule is you have to multiply what's inside the log functions and make a single log. So log of base b, so like they have to have the same base, that's a really important thing and you multiply what's inside the log, so you get x times y. So, um, w one of the ways I remember my law of logs is I think about my law, law of exponents. So one of my laws of exponents is if I'm multiplying two exponents with the same base, or two powers with the same base, I add my exponents. So similar to logs. So if I'm adding logs, I multiply what's inside. If I'm multiplying the exponents, multiplying the powers, I add their exponents. So it's sort of the inverse of it, like laws and exponents, or laws and powers are inverses of each other. So let's see that how that's actually used in, you know, in a simple example. So let's start off with something really simple. So log of, say, two, base 2 of 3 plus log base 2 of 10. So if I was going to do this, all I would have to do is say log base 2, so I would write it as a single log, and um, I take what's inside the first one, and then I multiply by what's inside the second one, so I get 3 times 10, so I end up with log 2 of 30. So really guys, it doesn't get much easier than uh, using that. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you know, that's all there really is to it. So the other th situation you might end up to, into is if you have you know some stuff combined. So it's sort of going the opposite way, starting with the multiplied part and then going backwards. So maybe you might have, this might be a situation you were say where you say write it as a single log, and it might have another situation where it says expand into multiple logs. So if I have something like this, so I might have log base three of say five times x times y. So I have three things multiplied together, 5 times x times y. So I can break them up step by step if I want to. So what it ends up being is log base 3, and I'll break up, the, I'll, I'll treat the 5 and the x together for the first part. So 5 times x, so that's one thing, and then the log 3 of y. And then I got to break up the 5 times the x, so I'll break those up into two little pieces log base 5, log 5, sorry, plus log base 3 of x, and I still got my log base 3 of y. So they're all added now together. So I took a single log and went to multiple logs. So um, you can see, guys, it's a really straightforward rule to use, but it's really, really important. And when you, the, what makes it hard is putting in context of all the other rules. So that's why I sort of wanted to break this apart and sort of treat this, you know, a little bit easier than say, if you were, had all these other rules and you had to sort of figure out what was happening. So I hope this helps, guys. Um, this is the first law. So if you're looking to figure out all of them, keep going to all my other videos, and um, hopefully this will give you the hang of it. All right, thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you guys in class.